Hey YouTube, it's me, Proveron Keepers, and today I'm going to do some test cuts using the Gazelle. I know a lot of you are waiting um, for me to actually cut, so today's the day. I'm actually going to cut the same file in both the fun time and make the cut. So I already turned on my machine and I have my mat loaded, and right now I have the fun time software um, up, and we are ready to get ready to cut. So I'm going to swing back over here so that you can see the gazelle. And I'm going to turn my button off. back over and I'm going to open up the um, make the cut software and hopefully I won't confuse my machine um, so let's see we're gonna I got a warning here that it's gonna do a restart so let me postpone that and we're going to close out fun time okay and we are going to open up make the cut Okay, so I already have my files ready to go. So I'm going to come up here to cut project and we're going to start. <laughs> is at a half inch I'm going to slow it down a little more and even with it being on the speed of two now instead of four you see how fast the gazelle cuts so now we're going to unload the mat turn my red button on and we're going to unload and I'm going to just close this and push it back so that you can see centered so that you can really see the cuts so now I'm going to be kind of at a, a weird angle here trying to get this out but we're going to take this off 
and I'm going to try to take it off as easily as possible and I'm not going to cut this video because I want you to actually see I'm, I am going to go off frame a little bit so that um, I can get this off now this card stock is really thin so I mean I know for projects we usually use thicker card stock so this is what was left on was left on the actual mat from that and I mean it cut pretty cleanly and then this is what you have left on there that needs to be weeded and this is the fun time software and it didn't do all that well at a half inch but looking at the designs as you can see does have a lot of swirls and thin edges and if I had maybe thicker cardstock and had the speed down a little more it probably could have did it because it didn't rip the paper to shreds as you can see there and then I'm just gonna flip this over to the make the cut size and it cut a little bit off of off the mat or off the paper as you can see here and here it cut off a little bit but that's okay and I'm gonna try to get this off as cleanly as possible and again this is not like expensive card stock it's um, it's the cheapy cheapy stuff I think it's like recollections or something like that or maybe even um, the color box color box um, card stock that you get at Walmart and my mat is like really really sticky this time because I re-stickied it um, before making this video so here you are with the make the cut size it actually cut out pretty good I did five sizes so this big one here is at two and a half inches or even three inches and then this is at two one and a half um one inch and then the half inch and there's nothing left on the half in or the half inch the one inch and then as you get larger the cuts are better and then this is what you're left with and it actually cut pretty good um using the make the cut software at that half inch and remember my speed wasn't all the way down where it was supposed to be nor was my pressure where it was supposed to be so there you go it's a few test cuts use and make the cut and if I have to say so myself make the cut wins and it's just a little tweaking on placement of the actual um, images on there so thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed the video you guys have a great day